Look at this picture, guys. Yay! It's written what? Welcome to Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Yes, this is Great Zimbabwe. You see how they built this? Yes. It means Great what? Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe, not small Zimbabwe. So are you like very excited, guys? Yes. Yeah, today I said, let me take you to come and see what we call Great Zimbabwe. Okay. Yes. And there's a lot that I'm going Welcome to teach us in this channel. The channel that we find peace. The channel that we find joy. The channel you find strength. The channel you find laughter. <laughs> the channel that take away strength. The, the channel, channel we love. Come again. Guys, what is more exciting is it's a long Victoria Falls Road. Keep on watching. Keep on watching. We have got a lot of rocks, but I didn't have this idea. I love this. These are stones, really stones. These are not bricks. Stones. Wow. So lovely. Hi. It's very interesting. It's just stones. Do you see creative Nashi? Yes. This is a great creative, no cement, nothing. But just putting the stones sitting on top of each other. and we are going to put wood take a fire here then bright okay mm. Ooh. 
The shell for snail, and this big snail it can be eaten. Yes. <laughs> Do you want to test one day? Yes. 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 So let you test one day. Okay, here we are. Every chalet have got its own decorations. These decorations are done with paint, different paint, and. <laughs> The interesting part is about women. These are the women who are decorating this wall. So I will show you again the women and you hear by themselves. And every door has got its own type of an animal dead. Uh -huh. Mr. Buffalo, right? Every uh, toilet has got its own toilet. toilet. And a shower. This is the first one. It's still under construction, but there are ladies who are doing it. This is wow. the second. This one is the second challenge. Look how beautiful. Wow. This is done by ladies again. And again, everything at this place is using solar together with a big battery. Can switch on and yes, off. You can see the light and here, Nigel. There, I can switch it off. I can switch it on. And this one also have its own palette and its own picture. The zebra, the zebra picture. Yeah. Wow. And this one is the heavy palette. This one I want to explain something more. All of them, they just they have a toilet. So I've been showing there. Now I don't want to talk about toilet. I want to talk about these drawings. This is culture. Yes, this is culture. Long ago, African culture, they used to dress like this. Okay. And do you know what is this? It's a pot. This pot, until now, in Africa, we use it to fetch water okay. or to store cold water. When it's hot, you pour your water in this pot. It becomes cool like it's from the fridge. Okay, guys? Yes. Yes. And... That from fetching water. Yes, that from fetching mm -hmm. some water. Very nice. And Isn't some it? chickens. And there are some chickens here. Yeah, again. <laughs> it makes me to remember about my YouTube channel. Please go and watch where my teacher Sibe was making peanut butter from scratch. They put here, it's called what? Moto. Motor. Yes, you remember. <laughs> And this is another type of dressing, okay? Yes. yes. African dressing, and there's a like a bracelet here, but it's made of plants or seeds. Okay. Then after you put it in here, you gotta do, do, do up and down, up and down, make it soft. Then after you take a stone, it's here now. You know that stone, isn't it? Yes. It's big and flat. You take now, you put it there. This is the last stage. stage. And again, this kind of head, even other people, Zulu, they wear this. Nowadays, not long back. Okay. Yes. So I love you. You can see this is a story of an African woman. Mm -hmm. It's a baboon. No, it's a baboon. By now, this is our room where there is an African story. Mm. 
outfit. That's a shower. Today I bath with original shower. My own toilet and my sink for washing my hands. So today I've been experiencing something new. I'm very excited, guys. called pictures of animals it's not yet done but it's showing this is an water engine a lion a lion this one is a giraffe i mean giraffe <laughs> this is a giraffe and there are mountains stones they're looking nice with a different paint color I'm scared that you can fall down. I don't want her to fall down, guys. She's doing miracles, so we want this work to be done without being damaged. Look at this craft. I don't know what do you call it, craft painting or whatever, guys. So I just have some few questions that I want to ask this professional. And I think, Angela, what do you say? She's doing a very great job. An excellent job for real, to be honest. Even you guys who are at school, I don't think you reach there. Okay, tell me, how do you do this? And what are you using? I'm using this brush uh -huh. and the paint. Okay. We mix paint. Uh -huh. I, I'm the best concern. <laughs> yes, <laughs> guys, here in our country, we have languages. We speak English, we speak Shona, we speak Kalanga, we speak in Debele. So guys, you know, if you see someone stammering, it means there is a special language that she knows. So she's going to mix it because the teacher also, hey, yeah, I'm in trouble, guys. I don't know Debele also. So what we are going to do here, we are going to mix, mix, mix. But you guys, just use your eyes. Hey. She said she'll mix paint, different paint, isn't it? Yes. To okay, anyway, I said, let me bring these ladies, guys. Because if I talk, talk, you just say, teacher, teacher, please, quiet. We want to hear to, from the professional. So there are three. This one, hey, greet the audience. My name is Portia Ndobu. I'm from Matopo, which is uh, Plawayo. Yeah. Wow. We are wow. painters, as you see. Uh huh. Professional. <laughs> and I uh, and I'm Bridget Simshanga from Blawayo. I specialize in painting also, but mostly specialize in abstract paintings. Okay. Oh, so they have names. Yes. <laughs> very good. Very very interesting. I whatever I do myself, teacher Sibir, I want my kids to learn. This is something that they can learn, and we are very excited because we are learning for free today. Okay, tell us, so this painting is called what? 
no, no. Actually, we didn't uh, title these paintings. Uh -huh. They're just flowers. Okay. Well, we actually did them to decorate this room. Yes. And um, as for a bedroom, right? Yes. I doesn't have to be that loud. Uh -huh. uh, that's the reason why it has only warm colors. Yes. Not dark colors. So uh -huh. they bring happiness. These colors are for happiness. That's yeah, true. Very true. Flowers. Ah, especially the month we are coming, January, February. Yes. Love month. People, they like flowers. You are yes. right. Okay. Yes. So that's why you put these colors. Yes. Good. Wow. So this pink was just pink like the way it is or you no, mix? No, no, no. Actually, uh, to actually make these colors, uh -huh. we mix other colors. Uh, we, when, when we start our work, <laughs> we buy actually primary colors. Okay. Three of them. Uh -huh. We actually buy yellow, yes. buy blue, uh -huh. and red. For us to come out uh, with this pink, uh -huh. we actually mix white and red. Interesting, I didn't know it. Are you hearing about primary yes. colors? Then when they mix, <laughs> it becomes secondary colors. Yeah. Hey, hey. Guys, I'm very excited. It brings back my memory as a teacher. Okay, go ahead. I right, for the screen. Uh -huh. we mix blue and yellow. Yes. And then it will be black. Yeah. Okay, to be, to be dark. dark. Yes. I love this color. I love this, I love this, I love this. <laughs> what if, let's say, I want you to just make it in my house or at my, let's say, veranda? Yes. Would you be able to do it, guys? Yes. yes. Because we also paint uh, drawers and then flower pots. Wow, wow, wow. Excellent. Okay, just like this, it takes like how many, maybe months? Or weeks, I don't know. No, 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 no. It's, uh, it doesn't take a long time. Uh -huh. It only takes two days to make this. Two work. days! Two solid days for this wonderful flowers. Wow, wow, wow. You guys, I can give you 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, this is a good Thank job. You. Guys, I'm very excited. Is this yeah. a village? Yes. yes. It's, it's a village, guys. That's why they're using solar. This is wonderful. Oh, what? I'm speechless. Oh, actually, I heard you talking about culture, right? Yes. So, uh, these drawings <laughs> were actually done long ago okay. by our forefathers and mothers. I mean, our grandmothers. Grand, our grandmothers. Great, 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 great Interesting. It is actually done by women, you know. So, <laughs> soon after the harvest time, right, <laughs> yes. I would go home <laughs> and then we start gathering uh, different types. Uh -huh. Of soils, I mean different colors of soils. Of oh, soils, they are mostly available in rural areas. Okay, mostly matopo. Okay. That's Matopo. why, Matopo. as you can yes. see, you've got yeah. Matopo, Matopo, Matopo women. Matopo. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Uh, History yes. is coming out right yeah. now. Yeah. So this is the soil. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. It's it's actually, paint. here we're using paint. Oh, oh okay. But okay. originally they were made using the soil. Oh, oh. Anyway, anyway, I want to ask you guys. I'm very excited. You can see I'm sweating now. <laughs> I'm sweating guys. I need air con because what I'm hearing here, this is exactly what I want to hear. Okay. Are you a company or do you have a company or oh, this is a company? Yeah, as you see right now, mm. we are we are women. Mm. We are many women. So as you see right now, we are three. We are uh -huh. working together as three women. Uh -huh. Yes. This is a company of three special ladies. So let's say we are not. Hey, you guys, you are not ending here. Do you hear me? Yeah. And you hear me nicely. This week, I think everyone will like it. The more I am liking it, are you free? Let's say, hey, you know me. I'm from Malawi. Yes. Okay, guys. Yes. I'm a Malawi and a Munyasa. Yeah. But I love this. This is my first time to see. Guys, we have come to a place called Wange to see this one along Vic Falls. So we said we can't just do pass by. No, we have to come here and see something interesting. From the ladies, I'm a lady. I support them. <laughs> Guys, I'm a lady. So it means I am in this industry right now. Oh, oh. let's say, you know, we don't know yeah. what God does to people. 
how God opened the doors for different people. Exactly. Let's say the doors are open. Others people out abroad in Canada, okay. Ireland, America, there are too many. I don't want to leave another country. Yeah. Let me just say abroad. Yes. Yes. <laughs> what if they say they need you ladies to go and do this job? Are you free to do so? Yes. Yes. Yes, we are. Yes. Yes, we are. <laughs> ah, guys, the doors are open here. Okay. Even myself, I like that. I pray to God, if God permits me and gives me and provides me, I would like this lady to, to start in my country, in Malawi, to go and show people that they have ladies who are talented. It's culture, even the flow, it's stones. These are stones. Only stones, no bricks. Meaning that we can use our own raw materials rather than ignoring them. So we are blessed. What do you think, guys? Anyway, here yeah, there's a big story. So this big story, we want to cut it short. Not talking about teacher Sipe making peanut butter. Yeah. I didn't hit the nail on its head. So right now, I want to ask her to explain more. Because they are the ones who painted. So please. Let's give them the chance. Tell us what is happening on this one because I can see them here. Okay, as you can see over here, uh -huh. we've got women uh -huh. who are carrying clay pots. Uh -huh. As you know, old Africans, or may I say ancient Africans, were very traditional to the extent that they used clay to make clay pots to carry water. As you can see, uh, to make this very comfortable, I made it an African home. As you can see, there's production over there, as well as this, represented by a granary. These granaries were made by our forefathers and mothers to store their grain from their fields. As you can see, as I said, this is a home. There are chickens running around yeah, that are usually found in Africa. Just wait. There is no a village home, huts, whereby you cannot find chickens. There should be chicken that we eat. Uh, uh. And that's why they put me here, isn't yes. it? This is my room. As an African what? Woman. Okay, go ahead. Uh, this okay. is interesting. Over here, mm. we've got a woman mm -hmm. who's grinding meal. Mm -hmm. uh, as you know, long ago we didn't have any grinding meals. This is what they used to make their own food, to produce their own ways of living. As you can see over here, we also have got someone who's making uh, what we call sem modern day. Uh, as you can see over there, at the door, okay. just behind the door. Wait, guys, I want you to see it. We've got a drum. This represents us as Africans. As you know, everywhere in Africa, if you won't go to any African country and never find this one. Yeah, that uh, is true. This is an African drum that's made. That's mad to produce a sound that drives an African to be who they are. This is our identity as Africans. Uh, in every festival or every ritual that we do as Africans, it contains this one. True. There is no African without this drum. Very true. Even in Malawi, it's there. When we do 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 it will be this one, guys. It brings the happiness to African. Ooh, this is excellent. Guys, if there's any question that you need an answer, Bridget is here. Your Bridget is it? Yes. I'm yes, she's Dana. here. And she can explain it the way it should be. I'm very excited. You guys, you are the best. Thank you. You are the best. Best, best, Thank best. You. And you guys, tell me. Me, I said I'll give them 10 out of 10. You tell me how many are you going to give them? I'm very excited and very happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is what they have been explaining to us so that we can understand what is culture. Of course, there are different types of culture, but this is one of the most culture in Africa. Zimbabwe.
Zimbabwe. We are here enjoying. This is just the beginning. So keep on following the channel, video, subscribe, like, and that here for you guys. They say whoever wants them, they're free. So you just come to G my teacher's face, Gmail. Teacher, where are those ladies? <laughs> and it's very interesting. English is there. Devele is there. Shona is there. Chosa is there. If you want Chewa, teachers will be translating. So please, get together and love teacher and follow until the end of the holiday. We love you! <laughs>